in this video we are going to discuss about the claps oscillator so this claps oscillator is similar to that of uh, call pitch oscillator so uh, you can see this acute uh, this is a common emitter amplifier which is, uh, is uh, we have given a um, uh, self bias acute uh, this common emitter amplifier uh, uh, produces 180 degree phase shift uh, and uh, the output is connected to the input of the passive terminal that is beta um, and the output of the beta is that is feedback terminal is connected to the input of the amplifier uh, so the why this is called as passive terminal is because it consists of uh, only a capacitor uh, and inductor so if i remove c3 this will uh, look similar to that of the call pitch oscillator so here i have added uh, one more capacitor that is c3 in series with the uh, inductance so this c3 value is uh, smaller compared to that of c1 and c2 we should not um, reduce the C3 values very much, um, um, very less, okay. There, are, there is some restriction. So, this uh, beta terminal which produces another 180 degree phase shift. So, total phase shift is 360 degree phase shift. So, this is one of the condition uh, for oscillation that is Bergasson criteria. It should produce a 360 degree phase shift and uh, modulus of a beta equal to 1 so we know the condition for the oscillation so we know the condition for the oscillation this, uh, this equation 1 suggests the condition for oscillation that is hie z1 plus z2 plus z3 plus z1 z2 into 1 plus hfe <coughs> sorry plus z1 z3 is equal to 0 so from the uh, <coughs> circuit diagram I can take uh, this is your z1 and this is your z2 and <coughs> this is your z3 so what is the 3? I can write it as uh, 1 divided by SC3 <coughs> plus SM. So this is your second equation and this is your first equation. You substitute the second equation in the first equation. If you substitute, you will get uh, uh, this uh, uh, third equation. So we know that S is equal to J omega. If I square uh, uh, you will get uh, j square j square is nothing but minus 1 so i am substituting s square equal to minus omega square okay so you substitute this uh, <coughs> fourth equation in the third equation <coughs> okay. so if you substitute uh, hie um, uh, instead of s i am substituting j omega l plus 1 divided by i am taking the s common so j omega so you will get uh, 1 divided by s1 plus 1 divided by s2 plus 1 divided by s3 that is equal to 1 divided by c equivalent okay so that is why i am writing here uh, plus uh, instead of uh, s square i am substituting minus omega square c1 c2 into 1 plus hfe plus 1 divided by j omega c1 into 1 divided by j omega c3 plus uh, j omega l is equal to 0 so if i cross multiply j and j uh, j square becomes uh, minus j square become minus so i will get minus j minus j divided by omega c equivalent and uh, here also j and j uh, j square so that is minus 1 divided by omega square c1 c3 plus uh, this j and j get cancelled out uh, omega and omega also cancel so we'll get l divided by c1 is equal to 0 
so uh, from this equation 5 uh, equating the imaginary term and equating the imagined term you will get the frequency equating the equating the imaginary term so here you have uh, uh, two terms right so this is your imaginary term imaginary term is uh, the term which is having j so equate this whole term to zero so if i equate the whole term to zero i will get uh, this hi get uh, uh, cancelled out so i will get omega l is equal to 1 divided by omega c equal so you will get omega square is equal to 1 divided by l c equal so what is omega now omega is equal to 1 divided by root of l c equal so we know that omega is equal to 2 pi f so f is equal to 1 divided by 2 pi root of l c equal so this is the frequency of oscillation okay where uh, c equal to is nothing but 1 divided by c equal to is nothing but uh, 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 okay so you can see uh, so this is nothing but c2 c3 plus c1 c3 plus uh, c1 c2 divided by c1 c2 c3 so what is c equal to now c equal to is c1 c2 c3 divided by c1 c2 plus c1 c3 plus c2 c3 this is the value of c equal to. so next uh, from the equation 5 uh, equate this whole term to 0 this is your real term so uh, that is the case so you can move this whole this two terms to the right hand side so you will get uh, this equation and you substitute instead of omega square you substitute uh, l c equal okay so if i substitute um, so uh, from this so what i have done i have moved uh, this uh, omega square to the right hand side and i am multiplying this omega square c1 c2 to l and uh, 1 so on doing i will get uh, um, omega square c square l minus c2 by c3 so instead of omega square i am substituting l c equal on so l l get cancelled out uh, so instead of c equal i have substituted c1 c2 c3 into this whole term minus c2 by c3 so c2 c2 get cancelled out and uh, you can see in this denominator i have c1 c3 and here i have only c3 so i am multiplying c1 with this uh, uh, to the uh, numerator okay so if I uh, do it, uh, I will get C2, C3 plus C, C3, C1 divided by C1, C3. <coughs> so this is nothing but 1 plus HFE. So I am moving again this 1 to the right hand side. So I will get uh, C2, C3 plus C3, C1 minus C1, C3 divided by C1, C3. So this 2 get cancelled out and C3, C3 will get cancelled out. So H of E is nothing but um, C2 by C1. So this is nothing but your beta. So we know that uh, modulus of A beta equal to 1. So if uh, so I am substituting C2 by C1 is equal to 1. So what is A? A is nothing but C1 by C2. So this is your gain. Okay. So next we come to the application of uh, clap oscillator. So it is used in the condition where it is supposed to resist uh, high and uh, low temperature frequently and uh, it is also used in the condition where 
undamped and continuous oscillations are favorable for its function and advantages of uh, collapse oscillator is compared to the other os lc oscillator it is uh, stable and uh, the stay capacitance problems are very less since the c3 value is very less compared to c1 and c2 so i hope this video is useful for you thank you very much